So that today is going to be a get ready with me, makeup, glowy glam for school, whether you're in high school or college. Um, this one's going to be a little bit more, mm, like we're going to actually try a little bit because normally when I go to school, when I used to go to high school, I used to just do eyebrows, foundation, mascara, or lashes. So today I'm actually going to do eyeshadow. Why my lips are looking so black? Y'all had some, um, a blue, um. So I put from Sonic, so that's probably why my lips are looking so black, but we're just going to get right into it. So I already have my eyebrows done and concealer on my eyes, and I prime my face with NYX um, Shine Proof or something like that. All of the products I use will be link linked down below. And also, this video is all affordable makeup, like all drugstore or from the beauty supplies, as far as like concealers and stuff. But this whole video is going to be drugstore and budget friendly so we're just gonna jump right into it so for eyeshadow i'm gonna be using this elf eyeshadow palette and it's called mad for matte and here are the colors so since when we're going to school we're gonna we're kind of gonna be on a time crunch whether you're going to school in the morning going to school at night so we're not gonna really want to take up all day so i'm gonna be doing a simple smoky eye which the base is already down which is just concealer that i hadn't set so i'm gonna go in this palette and i'm gonna be taking this dark shade right here i'm trying to blend it but just pack it on to make sure that that color is there now going back in I'm gonna take this darker shade that's a little bit darker and literally dab just a little bit I'm gonna add it to my outer corner just to create a little bit of definition So now just taking another clean brush, I'm just going to blend the edges up here just to make sure that there's no harsh lines. <laughs> I got the sniffles. So literally that's the eyeshadow look with two colors. Not doing too much, but still giving your eyes some type of definition. And it took like less than two minutes. Cause you know, when we gotta go to school, we gotta go to school. So now I'm gonna be putting on some Ardell Studio Effect Lashes. And these are very inexpensive as well. You can get these from Ulta, Sephora, Walgreens, Walmart for like $3. And these are not as dramatic since we're going to school. These are just like a, a little short wispy just to give your eyes a little something and I'm also gonna apply mascara from Maybelline just gonna apply a little bit just to blend the real lashes with the false lashes okay so now moving on this eye is still drying so that's why you can still see a little bit of white I'm gonna move on to foundation so the foundation that I'm going to use and that I recommend for going to school is the Maybelline Fit Me. And mine is a little bit dark, but we're going to fix that. But yeah, these are very inexpensive and you get a lot of product and they last pretty much all day as far as like walking outside to your classes or just like sweat proof if you have classes all day. Like this is a really good foundation and I have a matte one. Um, and this is the one I'm using, the matte poreless and this is for oily skin because I have extremely oily skin y'all. I'm just gonna dab this all over my face and then blend it out. As you can see, it's like a like maybe like one or two shades darker. So yeah. When I went to LA, y'all, I had a tan. Oh, if y'all don't know, I went to BeautyCon. I didn't vlog because like my life was in shambles. But yeah, I had so much fun in BeautyCon. But when I went to LA, I was really tan. So that's why this shade is a little bit too dark. Because I got this when I was in LA. So I look like a little tomato right now, but that's okay though. And y'all, I have this rash right here on my lip. I don't know what it is or where it came from, but it's, it's there y'all. And it burned when I put like my Mario Badesio on, when I put like lotions and stuff or um, creams that's supposed to like get rid of irritation, it burns there too. I just don't know what to do y'all. I just don't know what to do. I honestly don't know what to do. And if you're wondering why I got this on my head, I just got out the shower and I washed my hair. 
and then I um put it up in a bun so that's why I have this time I'm gonna lay my baby hair down now after foundation is done I'm gonna put concealer on and I use two concealers one is a kind of like a kind of already my skin tone and this is the um ruby kisses concealer and i really like this ruby kisses concealer it's really like runny kind of and i like that i don't like the stiff concealers because it's very blendable and this is in the color rich beige and it's this color looks like this and then i use the la girl pro concealer that's way lighter and i mix the two to give me like my perfect you know i'm gonna apply this under my eye with a flat concealer brush Y'all, when I mixed it today, I made it a little bit, a little bit dark, you know what I'm saying? I mean, a little bit light. But that's okay. It's been a long time since I did, a, like, a full face of makeup with, like, eyeshadow, lashes, and all that. Like, I know I do makeup, and I love makeup, but, like, in real life, I never wear makeup. Or do I, um... Wear eyeshadow. Even if I do wear makeup, I'm wearing like eyebrows and foundation. And then I like after I do my um eyebrows, I go back and I conceal the top again. One because when you highlight the middle of your head and you don't like go over your eyebrows again, like it gives like that light color right here. Like you know what I mean? If y'all seen girls with like super light right here, that's why. But when you go over your eyebrows again, it takes that away. So now for contour, I'm going to take the LA Girl Pro Concealer, this one. And it's in the shade Dark Cocoa. It's a little bit too dark. But once you, like, blend it together, like, it comes together. You know what I mean? And I'm not going to cream contour on the, on the hollows of my cheek because I'm going to use powder. So I feel like it's kind of unnecessary to... Do all that you know what I mean so now I'm just gonna blend this out with a damp beauty blender and I'm gonna do my contour first because whenever you do um highlight before contour the contour kind of takes over and then like the highlighter kind of fixes like the too much of the darkness like if you've ever seen people with contour and it's so dark it's because they do the contour before the concealer so I always recommend you concealer before I mean the contour I always recommend doing the contour, blending the contour before you blend the concealer because you can always use the concealer to fix if it's too dark. I hope I said that right because I'm like all over the place in my head right now. And I did like a light layer because I'm already going to use powder so yeah. So now I'm going to do my highlight. I'm gonna use a light, a light, a light layer of the Sasha Buttercup setting powder because this stuff, if you OD on it, you will look like a ghost. And we're just going to school. We don't need that cakey going like out to the club look. We just need a light layer, you feel me? I'm gonna put this everywhere that I put concealer. And I'm just gonna dab it on. gonna go on with just a powder brush powder brush and dust it off immediately we're not gonna bake now I'm going into my black radiance contour kit and it's in the coat the shades light to medium I'm gonna take another light layer extremely light layer of the middle one and it's this is the sculpt one and I'm just gonna dab like a little bit contour my cheeks and my forehead i never contour my nose even though i should because of my big nose but i feel like when you contour your nose like that's just like odin you know what i mean like i feel like it's unnecessary especially when you just go to school i don't know maybe that's me because i know a lot of people do contour their nose but i don't taking the same brush that I used to contour I'm gonna be using my Milani baked blush and this is in the shade Dolce pink and I'm just gonna take another light layer just go like this two little pumps and put on the apples on my cheeks and this has like a light shimmer and I like that
taking some Max Fix Plus, and I'm just gonna spray. And I'm just gonna spray my face just to take away the cakiness and to also kind of this isn't setting spot it's just fix blush so it takes away the cakiness and it just sets your makeup in lightly it doesn't make it stay all day it just like you know like sets it in place it takes away the, the cakiness and then i'm gonna go back with my beauty blender and just pat everything in because there's any leftover powder into my bh cosmetics highlighter palette and y'all i dropped it right before i made this video as you can see all of these shades are like basically gently used and these two were all the way full and I had to dump them in the trash so I'm gonna be taking dream and dream if it focuses I'm gonna be taking dream and then a little bit of radiance I said extremely light make sure not to go bored and then boom To finish this look off, I'm a gloss girl, so I'm just gonna put some gloss on from Victoria's Secrets. Y'all know their gloss is bomb, like their gloss is bomb. This look off, I'm gonna be taking the Makeup Revolution Pro Fix, and this is an oil control fixing spray and also a setting powder. So I'm just gonna spray my whole face. So this is the finest look. 